The brand new tactical DMR is now in Fortnite, aka the toggle zoom DMR, because this is what it was referred to as last week. There's a couple other little updates that are coming out today, and that is two perks. One of them returning, one of them being brand new. Now, the brand new perk is called Ninja Training. This one gives you faster movement speed when you're crouched in Fortnite. And the other perk that is returning is Shrub Mud. This one covers you in mud if you're ever inside of a bush, if you're inside of hay, inside of tall grass, which is really good when you pair it up with the perk that heals you from being in mud. Now we are going to be looting the vault here today and then we're going to be trying to get the brand new item that's in Fortnite. That's going to be the focal point. Oh, no pickaxe please. Damn, so close but so far. All right, nice. All right, we definitely need some more ammo from that. Ooh, and this vending machine might have the item that we're looking for. And it sells Thermal DMR. So the Thermal DMR is still currently in Fortnite, which I do think is a weird choice to have two DMRs in the game. But here is the brand new DMR. Now, it has a couple weird features. So it has a variable zoom scope, one of the first guns in Fortnite to have this. So if you press the left shift or whatever button it says on your screen, see next to that little dot on my screen has the button there, it will zoom in. Now, it's meant to have three zooms to it, but I guess they're calling hit fire one of the zooms because that is one and that is two. There's no other zoom apart from that. It has 14 bullets that it can hold inside of it and it comes from common to legendary rarity. There is no mythic variant. There's no uncommon variant of this gun. Let's go down to the vault real quick. I can show you some gameplay of it. I have played one other game using this gun and to be honest, I'm quite disappointed by it. I was actually expecting a lot from this item. It shoots really slow, like a weird slow amount which makes me think what use case would you ever use this gun because to be honest like I was thinking zero build would be the play for it but even zero build really doesn't feel fantastic with this item pro little tip by the way if the lasers are like on this left side here we'll wait for it to move let's shoot Kato for a second so it does big headshot damage but it shoots so so slow so the lasers are on the left side here you can just crouch walk and hug the wall and it doesn't go down at all which is really, really odd. Now, I'm talking about damage stats for this item. It has 2.75 to 2.2 reload time, depending on the rarity. It has three times zoom, 14 clip size, and 2.9 fire rate. So it deals 41 damage to the body, 68 damage to the head at the common rarity. All the way up to the legendary, it does 50 damage to the body and 83 damage to the head. So that is some pretty decent stats. If we're talking stats here. Now, we're gonna try out the hip fire in a second for this item. Because I want to see what this is like. And to be honest, the hit fire is not so bad. But the main thing that was very off-putting about this when I was using it earlier is you have to lead your shots. Now, if you don't know what that means, when you're playing Fortnite, especially with snipers, what you typically have to do is aim where people are going to be, not where they are. So, if I was aiming at someone who was running in this direction, I don't aim where they're, where they're standing, I aim where they're going to be. And that's how you have to use this item also, which definitely makes it very, very puzzling. But we're still gonna try and use it as much as possible today. So I don't think this item's gonna work very well in build mode at all, because you're just gonna hit someone, they're just gonna build instantly, plus you have to lead your shots. Much better to carry yourself a twin mag assault rifle or just to carry yourself a sniper rifle if you wanna do some big damage. To be honest, all of this vault as well, I think I'm gonna leave. I don't, I think this scoped burst SMG is probably my best choice from this vault. Like, I don't think many of these things are going to do me much better. Considering I'm carrying this item and I don't think this is a great, like, long-range item, I'll carry this SMG instead. Let's quickly loot some ammo from this. Throw this down in case someone thinks it's a good idea to push me, because we don't want anyone pushing me. And then we'll go to look to upgrade our weapon. We'll try and find a better rarity of it, or we'll try and find ourselves an upgrade station. Now, I'm going to take this, because I think movement's always necessary in Zero Build, even if it's not the best movement that you can get. And uh, let's go push towards where we just heard those shots. So you see that? That's a big headshot there. But once we start shooting at people that are moving around, you're going to notice that it's really like puzzling for what use case you would want to use this item. Also, there is a brand new Fort Nightmares section in the shop and more stuff will be added to this daily. So if you are going to be buying anything from the Fortnite item store like Patch, make sure to use code ONI to support me. I did hear shots up here before. I might have saw someone out that way. I'm not too sure though. 
Let's um get ourselves a vehicle. And we will get a couple perks to help us out today. So ninja training is here and we also have marksman headshot, which deals increased headshot damage. I will do ninja training considering it's a new perk and we'll show you guys off some new stuff. So right now, this is walking speed in Fortnite or just the standard run speed. Oh my gosh. Okay, the hipfire for this gun kind of feels nice-ish, I'm not going to lie. Like, I missed like a couple of easy shots there once they started running, but the first couple I hit were big. So, this is normal running speed right now in Fortnite, and this is my crouch speed. So, I feel like I'm moving just as fast as I do in the in standard. So, let's just see. So, from here to here, we're going to go to the edge of that. 30 meters, just normal jogging, and we'll start that when the clock gets to 35. So, we're doing that right now. And when I get to the other side of that, that took five seconds. Now, if I'm gonna do this crouch, we'll wait till the clock gets to 25. We'll start that in a second. And this feels like it's probably gonna take the same or maybe a little bit less. So it's same amount of time. So your normal movement speed is the same crouched as it is while moving. So that's actually a really, really good perk. Now, obviously tactical sprint is gonna win out. Like tactical sprint is gonna beat both of those, but that still, that still feels pretty good for a brand new perk in Fortnite. Something else to note as well, today's just a little content update. It's not a big update for the game. So there is another update coming out next week where lightsabers will be getting removed. So if you do like lightsabers, make sure you get as much use out of them as possible right now because they're a great fun item, but they're not going to be here forever. I think there's actually an upgrade station down here. So we'll have another look in the jungle here, see if we can get ourselves a better version of this gun. So we can do some bigger shots of damage with it. Looks like someone was here. And we'll check this hollow chest too. I don't know if they spawn in hollow chests. Like I assume they would, but you really have no idea. All right. Upgrade this, so 250, upgrade up to epic, epic to legendary will be 500. Unfortunately, I don't have enough gold, so we're gonna have to just run it with the epic rarity of this item. Let's try and find some more people or get some shockwaves or something. Actually, you know what? We have this storm boss out here. Let's go towards where this storm boss is real quick. And there's also an ice mythic over here. Hmm. You know, I think I'm gonna prefer the ice mythic to the rocket ram. I think that's a better option, just being able to give myself cover. So let's use that real quick. This boss does seem a little bit far away. It does look like they're around the corner here. You see, if I zoom in, I can zoom in again so we can get a nice, easy, clean shot. So it's gonna be nice for doing initial headshot damage. I think this is probably gonna be best in zero build for trios or duos. So if you and your teammate can line up a shot on someone, if you both have legendary versions of this gun, two shots is gonna pretty much almost take someone out. You're gonna be dealing 166 damage with it. Now, if you hit three shots with this item in zero build, that will be literally one HP. They'll be like 0 0.0 HP. So you know how I shoot a shot here and they start moving? I have to lead my shots, but they're not moving very, very fast. So it's not like a major concern for me yet. And that is zoomed in a little bit too much. So we are gonna zoom out here. Gonna chuck up an ice mythic so we don't get hit too much more. Just make sure we're not getting like overly pushed by someone in front or on top of the mountain. There we go, hit a last shot there. So we'll take this gold real quick. And I do want to take this twin mag AR, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And I will pick up the slope juice. Why not? We have a combat case here. And while we're here, might as well scan the storm tower. Now I think the twin mag is still gonna be the play. I don't think this gun's gonna take over. I think on console it might be OP again because DMRs have been known to be OP on console in recent seasons. See if we can take this all the way to end game as well. So let's see if we can get ourselves a Marksman perk, Marksman Headshot, Marksman Headshots deal increased damage. So even more damage than the current Headshot Multiplier. And I'm pretty sure there's one more Marksman perk that we can get here, which is, actually no, two more. Steady Hands, Marksman Rifle is reduced recoil. And then if we can get Bloodhound, where it shows people through walls if we hit a shot, that's gonna be super, super OP. Now we haven't got that then, but we're gonna go open this combat cache and then we're gonna try and see if we can hit another reroll because I'm pretty sure the combat cache will give us a little bit of gold here as well. There was shots out in the jungle too, but let's give ourselves the best chance of winning because we're showing this item for the first time. We don't wanna, we don't wanna die right away. Cause uh, that, might, that might have already happened. <laughs> because this item is definitely gonna get beat by a lot of items. So let's see what type of damage it does to a tree. So this tree hasn't been hit yet at all. Hit by four is pretty decent, like I'm not gonna lie. Like not having to like aim at that. But a full clip and the tree's not taken out yet. That's not going to be great damage to builds. Probably going to be better to still spam that with an SMG or something. All right, the island has spawned in. That could be a good place to go with the brand new DMR. We'll quickly wait for this though. We'll have two slurps on us. 
Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, nice little 47 there. Another 47. Oh, seems like they've busted out the twin mag. They've also got a sniper for whatever reason. Person is carrying free scoped items. I'm not going to really bother with that, to be honest. I don't think that's worth my time. Let's go up towards the island, though. See what we can get over there. Uh, and we can hit another... No, we can't hit another reroll here. That's unfortunate. I'll just select light fingers, considering that we have ourselves an SMG. A really good SMG at that. Oh, someone's at the bottom section here. And that shit's too slow for me to hit them. Is there a rift around here that I can see? See how much I have to lead my shots for that? That feels like it's a little too much. There is a rift here. So we'll take that. I wonder where that person went. All right, got ourselves a little bit of a dome on the roof here. I didn't think this would work. I think this would have caved the roof in. Right, someone's landing kind of close by. Down there. Alright, nice 47 on them. Oh my gosh. Get out of here, buddy. Really? You're gonna try and push me like that? No. Like, I know I scuffed a few of those shots, but you... <laughs> you missed so many of those. Alright, what's going on over here? No shots down here, wasn't there? You know, Peely saw me. We have ninja training. We can move super fast while I crash right now, which is super sick. And that Peely still appears to be up there, weirdly enough. Oh, they're probably like looting that whole time. Okay, nice shots, nice shots. Okay, Peely. Like, you're not going to do me like that. I don't know why they all keep thinking they can just push me so recklessly. It doesn't... Okay, weird. Oh, that felt nice. That actually felt really good. Okay. Maybe I was too quick to judge this item. <laughs> that felt really sick. All right, we'll get this for the extra slurp, and then we've got to start moving because it's going to move to 2 DPS. Also, I think the other SMG would have been better for me to take from the vault, which I, I just never ended up taking, did I? All right, we got ourselves a better shotgun there. We got this. What I will do is I'll spray myself up real quick. I'm not going to take the Mythic, although the Mythic will probably be good. I'm more used to the Sharp 2, so just take what I know. We got a splash, so we got that faster movement speed. We got double slurps. This is really good. There's someone here. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. There is a flopper there. I'm going to take that for the health. Oh, two of them. Full health. Nice. Nice try, nice try. I'm going to push this side. There's a there's another zip on this side. I can get on high ground here. This might be a lot easier for me to hit this person who's at the bottom section here near this rock. I can move fast while I crouched, which is sweet.
All right, nice. Three people remaining. We'll take what I can get from that. And we're gonna go to the next zone. I don't wanna waste my slurp, it's my only heal. I'm sorry I'm so quiet, I'm so focused right now. If I could get a half pot from here, this would be sweet. That's gonna give away my position. I gotta move fast since I hit that. All right, we got ourselves half pot, that's sweet. Can save the slurp for end game. Can check this real quick. Bunker. Right, I think I'll take this out. And we'll go this way real quick. We'll bounce this here. We'll move up a little bit. Someone just got scanned by another camera. I saw that a second ago. And we should be able to get to top roof from this side. It shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. Unless like these air vents bug, which they haven't been known to bug in the past. We should be all right. Two people left. There's one under me. I don't know where last is. Hmm. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta lead my shot so much for this thing. I, I really... Like, it, it feels good in some situations, and most Fortnite guns do. But it just it doesn't feel right. We pulled next zone as well, which is big. Okay. Person I was shooting at died to zone. One person left. Can we win with the tactical DMR first time on? We've got to get the last shot with it, surely. I know this person. Oh, damn. We, <laughs> we won. <laughs> oh, all right. Nice, dude. Nice, nice, nice. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it with a like rating down below. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the tactical DMR from this video. And once you play with the item, come back. Let me know if you're enjoying it or you're hating it and what console you play on or if you play on PC. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.